Good morning, how are you today? In today's studio, what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I'm gonna paint a big, big painting. I wanna do some mark making exercise, but I also wanted to have the freedom of painting really big. So I've got this full size imperial sheet of Buckingford, 530 grams GSM, I wanna say, but I'll leave a link down below to exactly what this paper is. I've just marked off a frame size. And what I have and what I want to try today is this. And this is something that my best friend, Ed Bolt, have bought me for my birthday. And it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> right? It's just like the most amazing, perfect brush set for someone like me who likes to paint big and bold. So I'm most excited about these angled brushes because she actually made these angle brushes herself. Rather than pay an extortion amount of money to have a angled brush, she just got a normal brush and cut it herself. And I have three of those. And they're hog brushes, I believe. They are one inch, two inch, and one and a half inch angular, which is perfect size for me. And then I have a ton of Escoda brushes, then the Royal Langenickel brushes are these metallic ones and then Da Vinci ones and then the Jackson's Raven and more of the Royal and Langenickel ones. These are the brushes that Ed sent me and I'm so so honoured that she would be so generous and give me all these brushes that I probably wouldn't have got myself because big brushes are expensive y'all. So we have the Raven in size 4, Escoda Ultimo in the 18, 14 Da Vinci Pettigree mix. That's really hard to see. This is the Royal Langer Neckel Zen in the medium. It's just amazing, amazing brushes. I am going to try and paint a piece with these brushes. Maybe throw in some few other bits. I don't know yet. I'm going to be doing it just in black because it's a mark making exercise. I am using the Speedball Super Black India ink. I'm just going to pour that into a yogurt cup so that I can just dip in really easily rather than trying to fit a big brush into a small palette. So we will see how that goes. Oh, I also forgot to say that I'm going to be painting to some music. I think I'm going to start with some cashmere version done by the London Philharmonics and see where my automatically generated playlist takes me. Welcome back. So the paints have now dried. This was the first place. This was actually the only piece that I taped around the edges. The rest, I kind of got carried away. I was only going to do one, but then I learned so much from this one that I wanted to carry on and carry on, carry on. So that's what I did. And I like this. 
I say light rather than love. I think I went a bit overboard with the black. Or that's how I felt when I painted it. I have to say though, now looking at it, I quite like it. But I'll give you a tip about what to do if you have a big painting that you think you messed up. What you need is some a selection of smaller mounts. And then what you can do is go around, see if you can create a more interesting smaller pieces than as the piece is now. So you could do that where it's like a horizontal and you get the lighter colors at the top and darker colors at the bottom. It's sometimes really interesting to go really small like this one and see what you can find and turn it around and things to, just to see what new framing you can create from a big picture that maybe it didn't work so well so i might do that for this piece and then i as i say got carried away and started doing other paintings and i didn't even put a borders around it or anything so i don't know how they look but maybe something like this i was trying to put less ink down on the page because i was having so much fun putting a mark down on the paper that i was just overflowing the whole page and overwhelming the paper with black with no interesting patterns happening so i tried that i think this was like my halfway effort in trying to not put as much ink down i don't know it's just when you got good music going on and cashmere especially the version by uh, the London Philharmonic Orchestra is so inspiring that I just want to put loads of marks down but I tried to control it and what I did with these lighter parts was to put some water on the brush and just placed it on the paper and then made sure that the puddle connected somewhere with the stronger inks on to the third one And this one, I really like how strong and simple this is. I messed it up a little bit when I moved it. And you can see marks here from other paintings. And this kind of got messed up. I wish it was a little bit neater. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I was like, hmm, I can definitely get into this. Maybe like this. It's more simplified version. And with this painting, what I did was get the brush that had some inky water on it and just went around the page first and then got the big angle brush. Oh my God, this brush is freaking awesome because you can do really strong lines and then taper it right down to a thin line. So I'm very, very happy with this one. And the next painting, I just carried it on basically and did more with the Maybe like this? I don't know. I really like this curve that's happening here. So maybe like this. I don't know. I'll have to have a play around later to see what kind of image I want to create from this. But it was the same thing again here with the last painting of going over the whole thing with the inky water and then going in with the angle brush. Angle brush has now become my best friend, especially in doing this. So the brushes I used were the two inch Angelo brush that Ev chopped it into an angle brush for me. And now I am convert into angle brush. The Royal and Langenickel large in the Zen. And this I have to say was the closest thing I've felt in Western brushes to a Japanese calligraphy brush. The length of the brush was perfect for something like calligraphy. And then I was like, oh, I wonder what it's called. It's called Zen. I'm not really surprised then. It actually does what it says on the tin, which is brilliant. So I do want to do a lot more with this because I have experience with Japanese calligraphy and how freeing it can be. But for today, this kind of got left behind after the first one, just because this and this in the same painting can be quite overwhelming, which is what happened in my first painting. And then I also used the Escoda Ultimo three quarter wrench. I will leave links down below to all of these brushes for the watered down inky 
background because this and this was great as well it holds a whole load of water because it's it's called uh, Ultimo and it's my first time using the flat brush I've got lots of their round brush but not their flat brush and I actually quite like it it feels lighter than the round one it gave me a lot more freedom of expression in the lines because you can paint it that way or that way or the combination of both which gives you a much more varied length I had a lot of fun painting with these brushes today especially these two these three guys were amazing along with this brush what is this brush name 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 this is the Princeton art brush come on focus 4950R it's really good because it's quite tough it's got a strong spring to it so when I was doing the wiggly lines on the first piece it was an amazing brush for that so thank you so much Ev for sending me all these paints I am so so overwhelmed by your generosity and kindness and I'm definitely definitely gonna have so much fun painting with these brushes that's my mark making session it was so much fun I highly highly recommend giving it a go just with some ink or black watercolor as big a paper as you can find and as big a brushes as you can find and just explore see put some good music on and just explore and see what happens and just go with the flow don't think too much about i want it to go this way or that way just enjoy the process pay attention to what you're learning and what you're discovering about yourself and how you create the marks Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry I couldn't put Kashmir as the background music for this video. I would have loved to, but it's Led Zeppelin and that's going to be a really, 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 really expensive video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me go nuts on pieces of paper. It was so much fun for me to do and I will see you in the next video. Bye!